I'm joined now by Saad Mohseni. He's the owner of Tolo News, Afghanistan's first 24-hour news and current affairs television network. Saad, good morning. So glad that you could be with us. I want to begin by asking, since the Taliban have taken over, how has that impact the ability of journalists to do their jobs? It's challenging, uh, to say the least, uh, simply because the city is not safe, not certainly not as safe as it used to be. Um, and um, as we experienced uh, only 24 hours ago, one of, uh, two of our journalists were beaten up by the Taliban by attempting to do vox pops on the streets of Kabul. Uh, although the Taliban were quick to react, to investigate, and they're attempting to get back our camera and mobile phones, which are confiscated by their uh, militiamen, uh, it sh just shows how dangerous it can be to uh, to report on, uh, on on events in Kabul right now. Have women been able to report? Yes, uh, over the last you know since the Taliban took over uh, last Sunday, we we've had women on the streets of Kabul. But uh, because of the contradictory messaging uh, from the Taliban leadership, it's difficult to sort of ascertain how safe they'll be. For example, they've banned women from working in. Uh, government offices. Uh, although we're a private organization, we're afraid that they may get arrested or stopped on their way to, to the office because some of the uh, Taliban security officials, are, you know, the, the, the men on the street who stop the vehicles, they may not differentiate between, off you know, government offices and private offices. The Taliban have given interviews at your network. What has that interaction been like between the journalist, the reporter, and the spokesperson for the Taliban? It, well, it's been very civilized. I mean, uh, you know, the, when we meet with them uh, or when they're being interviewed, uh, they're thoughtful, they're smart. But, they, you know, there's a sort of disconnect between the, 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 the senior officials and uh, the Taliban militias on the streets. Uh, who, you know, they're not. They don't have standard uniforms. Uh, they don't. Their behavior is not standard. They come from different parts of the country. They're fighters. They they're, they have not been trained to police the city. So, it, hopefully, you know, it'll improve. But you know, that's that's why people in Kabul are fearful, and in the rest of the country. The big story, of course, for the Western media has been the chaos at the airport, the situation there on the ground. What stories are you covering um, that we're perhaps not paying attention to here? Well, we're also covering covering the rest of Kabul um, and the rest of the country. Kabul is a city of, of 7 million people, um, and it functions like a normal city even now. Um, although you have this sort of hysteria and the confusion uh, at the airport or around the airport, uh, the rest of the city is, is, although people are fearful, but there's, you know, business as usual, shops opening up slowly, uh, people going about their business, uh, people starting to go back to school. So we have to cover all aspects of life in, in the city now. Saad, how confident are you for the future of your organization? Do you think that you will be able to continue to be a free press that, that covers the Taliban um, the way you would any other story with objectivity and criticism? Well, uh, we, we have to keep going. Uh, there, are, there are no guarantees because the Taliban technically have not even taken over the country. Uh, they have, they don't have a cabinet. Uh, we don't have a ministry of culture and information. Uh, we have to wait for the for for the government to come in. We have to see what they do in terms of media and me, uh, what their media media laws would look like. Will they issue directives? on how the media should conduct itself. There are a lot of unknowns, and uh, it's it's very difficult to, to assume anything at this stage. Saad Mosseni, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Saad is the owner of Tolo News, Afghanistan's first 24-hour news and current affairs television network. All the best to you.